do-it-yourself DNA tests are so popular, a survey found that 20% of Americans have actually taken one. Well, maybe you've considered it in today's Consumer Reports. Better Call Harry explains how the results, they could be serious. I want you to meet my parents. Right now, my mom is freaking out because these aren't my parents. These are my photographer's parents. But I know everything I need to know about my family. A lot of people love these DNA tests. But before you take one, there are things you need to know. About four years ago, Sarah Altschult received a 23andMe kit as a holiday gift. The results she got back would change her life forever. I unfortunately got my test results back, which did show that I carry the BRCA2 mutation, um, which in increases my risk of um, developing breast cancer by quite a bit and ovarian cancer. Sarah ended up getting a preventative double mastectomy with reconstruction after her genetic counselor confirmed the results. While Sarah is grateful that she took the test, she could see how for others, a positive result could be a burden to family members with news that they too might carry the mutation. Once you get your results, that probably means that you need to inform people in your family that you either got it from one of your parents and that could affect your siblings, that could affect your cousins. Though some of these tests can determine if you're likely to develop diseases such as breast cancer or Alzheimer's, they could also give you a false sense of relief or fear. While a positive result from one of these tests can mean you do have a higher risk of a certain disease, a negative result doesn't necessarily mean you're out of the woods because there can be other variants that cause that disease not detected by the test. 23andMe says it clearly explains test limitations to users. While Sarah's story is a great example of how these DIY DNA tests can be helpful, others may find the results confusing, misleading, or upsetting. In the CR survey, about 10% of people who use these tests said their reports contained unsettling information, such as the news that someone thought to be a biological relative isn't actually related to them at all. If you think these kits are going to give you a complete picture of your ancestry and your health, you're going to be disappointed. And there's also the possibility that it could reveal information that you may not even want to know about your family. Even though for me, it was a good experience overall, I think you have to be ready emotionally for something like that. Bottom line, a do-it-yourself DNA test kit might be right for you as long as you know what you're getting into. I'm Better Call Harry with your Consumer Reports. Another